Rabbi Chatzkel Besser of Agudas Israel of America knew the Rebbe's brother Lebu. I met the Rebbe the first time through his mother. I met his mother first. I was a friend of the Rebbe's brother in Tel Aviv. And as a matter of fact, and we had, I had a son, well, my wife gave birth to a son, and his wife gave birth to a daughter, more or less at the same time. And we used to walk in the, in the carriages on, on, on Rothschild together. It's in both were very babies. When I came to this country, he was still there. Yeah, he was, he was in Tel Aviv. And he said, I'll send you photographs for my mother. She also only arrived at that time in the States. It was in 46, around that time she arrived, 47. I remember one day I was, or I lived that time in the West Side. I got a telephone call and uh, <laughs> Mrs. Schneiderson. So, and she left a message, so I called her back. They say, Haskell is speaking. So I said, no, you read the Yiddish. Yes, I read Yiddish. So uh, let's talk, I saw she's easy in Yiddish and in English. So she said, I, I, she wants to see me. So fine, I'll come to visit you. No, no, ich komm zu euch. She's coming to me. So why? Uh, to trouble you from Cronite. No, I insist I come to see you. All right, so she came to see me. It was the first time I met uh, her. And she came to see me on 85th Street. I don't know. And I was fascinated with her. She was such a lady. She was uh, one of the women who I admired was is Rabbi Zahana, of course. And uh, we spoke for hours, hours really, all kinds of, not, of course she wanted to hear about uh, her anicles, she was really like, like her old bobbers, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not a surprise and about her son. And she praised me, her son, whom I knew, but I didn't know, that, ah, what a head he had and how brilliant he was. And then she says, do you know my other son, or my older son, Mendel? She says, oh, I must introduce you to him, you'll see. Ha, if you know his brother, then you'll know him too. <laughs> 